The U.S. Labor Department reported on Friday that non-farm payrolls increased by 12,000 jobs in October, far below the previous forecast of 113,000 by some economists and also significantly lower than the monthly average level over the past year. Manufacturing and retail trade employment declined by 46,000 and 64,000, respectively, while professional and technical jobs decreased by 47,000. The sluggish job growth is attributed to hurricanes Helene and Milton that lashed across the southeastern United States in late September and early October, as well as the crippling strikes launched by U.S. workers, most at Boeing, according to experts. After its September 17th to 18th meeting, the U.S. Federal Reserve slashed the target range for the federal funds rate by 50 basis points to 4.75 to 5 percent, amid cooling inflation and a weakening labor market. This marked the first rate cut in over three years and signaled the start of an easing cycle. The Institute for Supply Management reported on Friday that the U.S. Manufacturing Purchasing Managers Index stood at 46.5 percent in October down 0.7 percentage points from the 47.2 percent reading registered in September and hitting a new low of this year. Any reading below 50 percent indicates the manufacturing sector is generally contracting. The number marks that in 23 of the past 24 months, the U.S. manufacturing sector contracted, showing a continuous weak demand. Based on aggregation of foreign news reports by Earth News,